Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. L. Baronin here again, and today I'm talking about Jiro from My Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix Edition. And just like the other characters I've talked about so far, she is way more fun to play in this version. And the three big changes that she has changed is she's got slight changes to her Quirk 1 Fireball, and that she can charge it up to make it slightly different, I'll talk about that later. Um, some of her combo pathing has been changed, like what she can cancel into what, and one of the, basically the biggest change is that her Tilt Quirk 1, can be um, jump cancelled, so she can just jump after she does it to get mutilus combos. So you can do stuff like this now. Without having to spend any meter, she can get this kind of damage. So like, 11,000 and a bit damage. Zero dash cancels. For a character that didn't used to hit too hard in the original game, now she hits really hard and does it for free. So she's kind of a combo monster in this game. And that was, yeah, so that was her combos even without dash cancels, it was already 11,000, and without supports as well. So, an example of something you could do with this, a plus ultra, would be something like this. And then go in with the Tilkwak one this time, because it's a bit easier to combo off of with a plus ultra. It's just like, it's slightly more consistent I find. Oh, damn it, I <laughs> missed time the Aizawa. But yeah, even that, just like, just adding a plus ultra to the end of my combo, 14,000 damage. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, I'll just try again. I'll actually do the tilt work um, two this time to have the opponent on the ground. Now I can do something like this. And then go back into this. And that's probably going to meet you blow. Ooh. And then, yeah, 15,000 and a bit damage for a single plus ultra. And as you can see from the combo, Jiro builds a lot of meter. She's basically got like a third of the plus ultra that she spent back just by the end of that combo. And Aizawa's nearly back by the end of the combo as well. So like, man, she can hit like a truck all the time. She can all basically always do a 15,000 damage combo, which is like half of your health. So if she hits you twice, you're dead basically. <laughs> So, yeah, that's really scary, obviously, so that's using a plus ultra, and she can even, you know, extend her combos without using a plus ultra, like if she does something like this, and just do basically the same thing except without a plus ultra, obviously. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, they can meet her blow a little bit earlier. And um, I'm sure you can make the combo a little bit more optimal, but as you can see, she can get big damage that way as well. So yeah, basically off of any type of hit, whether it's in the air or the ground, she can get big damage. And it's scary. So the other change that I mentioned before was a change to her quirk 1, and it has to do with how it can be charged now. Oops. <laughs> so, the regular version, it's kind of normal, it doesn't travel that far, it's kind of slow. It, I believe it does have slightly increased distance, like it does travel a bit further than I remember it going. And they both count as individual hits. Obviously, you can still combo off of it. Um, oops, I didn't mean to dash cancel there. So, you know, it's just like, you know, the normal one of hers has a little bit less hit done. Um, if you charge it once, I believe they travel a bit further, have a slightly longer hit time, and they stay on the screen for a bit longer. So, you know, they're just a slightly improved version of the fireball, or of the sound ball. But what you're really going to be charging it up for is the double charged version because that's what really changes the move. It just launches out this single shot that stays on the screen for a long time, travels a lot further, does a lot more damage, and stuns the opponent for longer. So basically, like all of the charges just make them all better and they stay on the screen for longer, they travel a bit further, they have a longer stun. And with the double charged version, basically just means she can do the 12,000 damage she would do with a sidekick without a sidekick. So she can do something like this, and then into this, and then just go into the combo regularly from here. Oh wait, I can do the rest of the string. Let me just charge up this. And go into my string. And also, this is zero dash cancels, zero supports, 12,000 and a bit damage. Also, no meteor blow. So I could have added, I could have added a plus ultra one at the end of the combo there, and just get an extra big chunk of damage. So yeah, a charged quirk one is very useful. Not only just for zoning now, because it'll be like really useful for her, because it like stays on the screen for a lot longer. She can just you know 
weevil around it. And then if it does hit them, you know, obviously she gets a big combo from it. She'll always be getting big combos now off of any hit. And no matter how much Shimita she has, she'll always be getting big combos now. And uh, yeah, that's basically what changed with Jira. It wasn't too much, nothing crazy. <laughs> nothing crazy, what do I mean nothing crazy? And not tons of changes, but the changes that were made make her a lot more fun to play. So I'll just quickly recap. She can now get combos off of her Tilt Quirk 1 just by jumping. And, oops, hello. When she jumps, she can combo with it completely meterlessly, which gives her about 11,000 damage off of any hit. And, you know, that's for huge damage, and it doesn't add that much uh, to the Meteor Blow, like, counter. So yeah, she can go off of that. She can now charge her Quirk 1 in order to do the big explosion, like the big single one, and they stay on the screen for a bit longer. And basically just, like, what she can cancel into each other is changed, so that now she can do stuff like this. And, yeah, she just does a lot of damage, and it's really scary. That's probably gonna meet you below. Oh no, it didn't! See, there we go, almost 13,000 just by doing an, an extra dash cancel in her combo. She is a crazy character, but definitely fun. All of the characters in this version of the game are very fun, and Jiro, obviously, is no exception with these awesome combos of hers. So, uh, yeah, that's honestly all I have to say about Jiro. Simple changes, but very effective and very fun ones. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!